Are you ready for some football? Or are you just ready for me to stop singing? Really doesn't matter. Training camp is right around the corner. I hope you've all checked out SNY's Make or Break articles where they break down which Giants and Jets players need to have big years to stay with Gang Green or Big Blue. SNY's Scott Thompson is here. And we've only got one Jets player for you today. We'll talk about that a little later. But Denzel Mims is heading into his third year with Gang Green. You've got him on the list. Why? Just fans, I know, 2020 draft pick. It's only his third year, but Denzel Mims did not play last year, and I know you guys did not miss that as well. Mike LaFleur's offense gets mm -hmm. implemented. He has a slow start, trying to learn his new routes, his new concepts, and he just stays on the sideline. Eight for 23. That was his final line, 133 yards. Mm. It might be that third year, but Denzel Mims needs to get it back on the field. Yeah, you said that eight for 133. If it was me being a, a former practice squad player trying to make a team, that would have been a, a great year. But this is a second-round draft pick we're talking about. And I think the writing is already on the wall. You re-sign Berrios. You draft Wilson. You've already paid Corey Davis. And now you think about the year that Elijah Moore had last year, getting seven targets a game. It's, it's, there's no room for you here. It's like the Jets have moved on, and I don't think that Denzel Mims will be on this roster the first game of the season. Well, I'm going to point out Jeff Smith as well, somebody Ooh. we didn't mention, but someone that Jets beat reporters could not get enough of during training, uh, during minicamp, excuse me, and he was getting tons of catches. Zach Wilson has found a lot of time with him, and speaking of that time, he's in Idaho right now at Gaza Ranch working out with his teammates. Jeff Smith is one of the guys there. So he knows what he has to do, and he has some special teams time as well. You know that that's always going to help you stay on a roster. That's the thing. When you're fighting for that wide receiver number four, five, six, or even seven, seventh position to be on that depth chart, to be on that roster, you have to play special teams. And I don't think we've seen Denzel Mims play special teams since he's been in the NFL. So when you talk about being hungry, Jeff Smith's going to be hungry. Jeff Smith wants to stay on, and he wants to turn those minicamp catches into regular season catches. So if Denzel Mims can't hop on a, on a kickoff return team, can't add any sort of value to a punt, punt return team, he's on his way out of here. And I think that's what you need to look at with Denzel Mims is, listen, you are a second-round draft pick. Understand that you have a lot of skill. He's tall. He's fast. He yep. has hands. Yep. We've seen it. But he just needs to make sure that he's showing this new regime with Sala yep. with Mike LaFleur that he can do that and we haven't really seen that motivation and we don't know what's happening behind closed doors and mm -hmm. what's going on with him but Denzel Mims knows that training camp this one actually might be his last one in a Jets uniform I know he's got one more year left but Joe Douglas might just have to bite the bullet and move on. So really quick, does he make it or break it? Because Corey Davis has one more year left as well. I'm going to have to say he breaks it. Like you Ooh. said, the, the writing's right. on the wall. Jeff Smith really is hungry, and there's just too many targets to go around. Not a lot of uh, players, you know, not yep. a lot of balls yep. to throw for not Zach lot. Wilson. So not. you have Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore. Yep. I expect a lot out of him this season. And Corey Davis knows that he needs to ball out as well if he wants to keep that money. He has the opt-out after this season. Okay, and the, uh, to go back to why we only did one, today there's also an article on punter Braden man but punters don't get his view so we're sorry man uh but go read that article at sny.tv scott you did a great job thanks for joining us again my man absolutely